so it's McDavid sitting on the cusp of a fifth consecutive hundred point campaign at Philip Deneau, second place on the line. And it's Jack and Louie here to bring you. Worked around the board, Strysaddle curled it in front, shot the save made on Derek Brassard by Jonathan Quick. There it is, James H. Brown, get ready. Over, already went right to the bench oh. after that one. Well, LA's dressing 7D tonight, and after that wall upon Alex Edler by Archibald, they may be down to five. A shot by Edler, tipped home. And just like that, LA's on the board. Let's see who this, this goes in off of. Yeah, just a quick little wrister here. There's the big hit right there on Edler by Archibald. He had six hits on Monday, let all players in the game that physical presence. But for Edler, he looks up, and you can see Kaliev going to the box. Kaliev has a stick up in the air. He presents the target for Edler. He's been around this game a long time. Little knuckle puck. And I believe Kaliev gets a little piece of that one. And it finds its way through. Tyler Yamamoto trying to get around Mata. Does shoot, save, quick rebound, and that's tossed out of the blue paint by Kopitar. Yeah, I was on the Tommy Boy plan when it came to geometry. No skills. None. You Big notice I didn't Jersey. chime in. <laughs> Cedric Massisi shoots and scores. This game is tied. Cody Cece picks a corner. In the offensive zone, Pulley Arby who was just outstanding in that game Monday night, was all over it, just flips this one in, Evander Kane gets on his horse, finishes a check, separate man from Puck, McDavid throws it out. I think he's looking for Paul Yarby on the flyby, but it goes right through him, and Cody Cece just pounces on that puck and buries it. <laughs> Here's Kalia, steps in, dishes, tip, what a save, Koskinen, and the rebound held! A tremendous stop by Miko Koskinen. I'm not mistaken on Adrian Kempe. Yep, five minute major. Five minute major through that way, and they were pushing. That was, they were all over LA in that third period. Saved by Quick on Nurse, and then the rebound on McDavid, and Jonathan Quick with that left pad, able to keep it a 1 1 tie. Sorry, that's Stetcher, 51, not 50. Troy Stetcher. Here's Hyman. Around Moore. Drag move around Stetcher on his backhand back door. Score! Leon Dreisaitl. There's 49. Edmonton has its first lead in Genoa. Great work down low. We've talked about this off the cycle, just taking it to the net for Zach Hyman. It opens up a little 10 and 2. Says, Yeah, you know what? I'm going to wrap this around. He's falling. And on the backhand side, as he's falling, he just rifles this one across right there. Oh on the doorstep and the poise by Dreisaitl Jack to be able to stop this one and finish it off he always gets geared up to go up against Andre Kopitar in a matchup he's up against the door on this shift finds himself alone and what a pass by Hyman Jay Woodcroft alluded to that as well and the first thing he mentioned Louis is they don't mind checking Here's McDavid leading a three on two. Hits the trailer nurse. A shot. Wide rebound. McDavid in front. Score! Yes, a Pulley Army. And that's 100 points for a fifth year for the captain. Always do. Gets his head up. Little delay. Makes this pass. And watch how it just comes to him. The shot by Nurse right there. And it looked like Ayafalo yes. was trying to play it on the backhand side. Pulley Army was right there too. But that's the pressure. I have follow knew that if he doesn't try and play this clock, Paul Yarby's going to jam it home. And I think you're right. Reaching is Kupari. Held in by Stetcher. Shot redirected wide. Now they're going to say it's Paul Yarby's goal. Here's a shot to score. Quinton Byfield picked up a loose box and cuts it to 3-2. Good one, you can see why, and this one just kind of takes a funny hop. Bouchard doesn't quite handle it, gets run over by Kupari, and Byfield just kind of swings in, picks up that puck. It bounces right into the middle, but he does a nice job to backpedal, open up some space to shoot, and he unleashes that wrister. Oilers make it a 3-1 game. L.A. comes storming right back and makes it a one-goal game again. With Quinton Byfield's nice wrister. Wrapped around, deflected home, and the Kings suddenly tie it. Carl Grundstrom, I believe, will get credit for the goal. 
and two goals in 14 seconds for the Kings. As this goes around, comes off the carom, it's an aggressive four check again. Give Grunstrom a lot of credit. He wins that battle, throws it out off the stick. Grunstrom's there. I know Kulak's trying to chop it. Grunstrom's stick after he goes out to the front of the net. And, and somehow that puck right goes there. in. McDavid to Nurse, a shot deflected high in the air. The bounce eluded Kopitar. Yes, a pool of around the boards for Connor McDavid. Change of speed, fought off Kopitar. Crowd won the call. McDavid fights off another defenseman and scores! What a play! Connor McDavid will not be denied! Edmonton regains! To make you realize you have to battle. This is one of the best two-way players in the National Hockey League. Two-time Selkie winner. Andre Kopitar shrugged him off, shrugged Jersey off, protect that puck, put it to the net. And as you mentioned, Pauly Harvey just taking up space in front of the net, taking Bjorn Fripp with him, opening up some space for McDavid to walk out. And we'll see where this goes. It does go off the right leg of Pauly Harvey. Now he's in the blue paint. He's in a battle as Todd McClellan looking to maybe challenge this. I don't know. He's outside that blue paint. He was entangled here with Bjornfoot right there. He's outside the blue paint, outside the blue paint. That's where he enters the blue paint. And he is pushing a defenseman into the goaltender. There's no question about this for Pauly Harvey. He's trying to gain traction, but he does move into the blue paint. After review was determined, there was interference with the goaltender for Arizona and Noble. Sometimes I hate to be right. Kempe. Arvidsson. Wide open. Kelly have a shot. A glove save made by Miko Cosmo. Ryan up the right hand side. How do you see it, Louis? I thought it was interference. I don't think he got to the puck, and I think he was picked. Now a two-on-one developing. Kapari waiting, dishing, went off the skate and stayed out. Dryside off to McDavid in full flight. He's by Jordan Spence. It's a two-on-one. McDavid a shot, saved. Quick might have gotten it with a mask and the rebound flicked through the blue paint on top. Bjorn foot. And I believe that's Trevor Moore jostling for position against McDavid. Off the draw, Moore controls and heads for the net. Los Angeles will retain second place in the Pacific. But the Oilers can close the gap to one point with a win here. Nugent Hopkins to McDavid on the ice. Heading for the net against Quick. Poke checked away. Loose near the right pad. Jersey was able to clear to the corner. Kopitzov looking. Broken off Keith. It's McDavid and Dreisaitl for victory. McDavid, shot, save, quick, rebound. And he kept it out. Kopitar up the boards. Arvidsson needs to get going. Maybe L.A. doesn't have enough here. One second, long shot, caught by Koskinen. And we'll settle this one in a shootout. One-on-one -on -one against Jonathan Quick. McDavid cuts to the middle. Backhander score, what a move of the LA Kings. His name is Andre Kopitar. Kopitar to keep the Kings alive. He can't. Koskinen and the Edmonton Oilers win the game. Four, three, in a shootout. A dangerous shootout shooter walks in, tries to go to the backhand right there. Flash that left pad, the celebration afterwards, get that puck out of here. A big game by Koskinen, a big game for his team, and they win this one 4-3.